Hey, what's up, guys? This is Frank Denny here. I just wanted to make another video during this week before the game against the Lions. Now, this isn't a preview video because, you know, I don't do that. I just don't see the point of it. I use the only way to make playoff time. So, but for right now, I just want to talk about the Packers again. Um, <clears throat> about these issues that we're having, specifically on offense. Um, I'm sure everybody knows now that the news has come out that Eddie Lacy has been benched or at least been replaced as starting running back with James Starks. Uh, I think it was a good move. It, it was a move that I had called for a couple of weeks ago. And as far as I'm concerned, James Starks just earned his place to get, to take over that, that number one spot. Period. We drafted Eddie Lacy to be our running back to take pressure off of Aaron Rodgers and he hasn't done that he's been a complete flop this year we don't know what his problem is he doesn't even know what his problem is he's even said himself just now he doesn't even know what his problem is so the guy's just been an utter disappointment you know so right now in this move to go with James Starks is a good move is it that much of an upgrade no but he's still been running a lot better than Andy Lacey so <clears throat> that's that but uh, the, the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that I just really, I really been thinking about the struggles that we're having on offense, and I really been trying to figure out exactly why it's happening. You know, you can say that yeah, these last two weeks we've gone up against two really good teams on the road with great defenses. That's true. You know, you go on the road two two weeks in a row against two teams who are really good. Both were undefeated and had good defenses, that is tough. That is really tough. But these problems were there even before we played those two teams. It just finally got exposed. Period. It finally got exposed. I was talking about these problems before that. And they finally all came out. And it's just, now when I think about it, the answer really is just, we're just lacking that talent. Clear, cut, and dry. I don't know if I don't know if any other Packers fan feels this way, but I personally feel this way. We're just lacking at talent. You know, we have a great quarterback, obviously. Great quarterback. The offensive line is okay. The offensive line is not is not that bad. I know they given up a lot more sacks lately these past two games. But it's all been it's all a lot of those sacks were coverage sacks. To where why was where Aaron actually did have time in the pocket he just had nobody to throw the ball to because nobody was getting open because of just the mediocre play at wide receiver these guys can play better they can but they're still not all that great right now our best wide receiver is Randall is Randall Cobb who on most teams would just be a slot receiver he was for us until Jordy Nelson went down so uh, Jordy Nelson goes down, that takes away your number one wide receiver, that takes away your deep threat downfield. And it's just, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really big loss the more you think about it. And the more you see that these other guys are not getting it done. Randall Cobb obviously is not a number one wide receiver, but he's still the best we got. Devontae Adams... He hasn't been playing good at all this year. <clears throat> I don't think he's a great route runner either. And then on top of that, you have James Jones, who really doesn't do anything until Aaron Rodgers makes something out of nothing. And I don't even want to talk about the tight end position because there is no tight end position as far as I'm concerned. So right now, we're just lacking in talent. All right? Can these guys play better? Absolutely. But they're just not that very talented. They're not. You know, we're not talking Odell Beckham Jr. We're not talking about Calvin Johnson. Okay? We're not talking about, um, what's his name? Uh, Julio Jones. We're not talking about Dez Bryant. We're not talking about A.J. Green. These are guys right now that Aaron has, has to throw the ball to. Randall Cobb, Devontae Adams, Richard Rodgers, James Jones. So it's really no no it's really no reason why this offense is really excuse me it's no reason why people can't understand why this offense is struggling the way it is. 
It's just a fucking lack of talent. And it's frustrating the more I keep thinking about it, the more I'm sitting here trying to think about how we can turn this stuff around and how the team can get better and play better than this. It's really frustrating, guys. It really is. You know I mean? Look at Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning right now, he's on his last leg. And this Denver team is doing everything to get a team around him, to get talent around him, to help him win a championship. They got a great defense. He's got plenty of weapons to throw the ball to. Run, their run game is pretty good. And you look at us, we're the exact opposite. We have no run game. We have really no talent at wide receiver or tight end. Did you guys notice how Denver and Carolina pretty much had all their guys in a box and weren't afraid about pass whatsoever? That is that is a problem. That is a huge problem. You know, this this front office just literally just does nothing for Aaron. They're not getting him the pieces that he needs to get us back to the Super Bowl and win a championship. Because that's the ultimate goal, to get to the Super Bowl and win a championship. And right now, we don't have the talent around us to do that. We don't. We just don't. So we're lacking completely in talent on offense. And on top of a on top of having a defense that hasn't been good since the last time we won the Super Bowl, 2010. That's five seasons ago. You know why is it that the Broncos can go out and get a Vernon Davis, but we don't? Look how we just don't make the the, the, the necessary moves. So we're just gonna keep on struggling. As far as I'm concerned, we may bounce, we may turn it around, but. And I'm happy that these issues are coming out now, but how much of it is going to turn around, we don't know. So we'll just see in these next few games. But that's it. I just wanted to get this off my chest. I've been really thinking about it, and that's all I got. Until next time, peace.